to how we shy away come to take the throne to conquer world powers bring jake the home i'm quarterbacking like jake the long like mount rushmore i got a face of stone read this up huh? deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god if thou wilt not do what hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god that means to listen up with you stiff neck hard head niggas Read to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which i command thee this day what day this day that means this day right now if you would just open up your ears and listen to the Messiah and his commandments you shall live Read. That all these curses, that all these what? That all these curses. This reason why we where we are today, because we will not listen, we will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now stop and look at your situation right now and yeah. see where you are at. You are at yeah. the bottom everywhere we go. I don't care where we at. We out here making a hustle on the Sabbath day. We shouldn't be buying, selling, or doing nothing else on this day. But instead, since we are on a, in a curse, and because we won't listen to our God, this is why we where we at today. We scum of the earth. That's right. And we're supposed to be the most high. Good running me seven, seven. Yeah, Baruch. Give me Baruch. And, and I know I know the Christian church has told us that we're not supposed to be keeping the laws no more, but let's see what God says. The book of Baruch. Uh, the book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is the what? This is the book of the commandments of God. Read. And the law that endured forever. No, it just only endured back when it was when it was on Moses. And the law that endured forever. Oh no, he's just talking about when we when we was on slave ships. And the law that endured forever. The law still exists this very day. And you wonder why you look like you look and you and you're living like you're living. That's right. One or two of us might get a little Lexus or a little Bentley, and we think we got it going on. But That's you got right. to remember, Oprah Winfrey was still a nigga. That's right. Jeek. That it? No, dude. All they that they keep it shall come to light, but such as leave it shall die. Yeah. You're going to die if you do not hugging into the law, yeah. statutes, and the commandments of the most high Yahweh. That's right. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. That's right. For thou art an holy people. You are what kind of people? For uh, thou art an holy, holy people. people. You are holy people. If you would just turn back to your God, you will be a holy people. You will be above and not beneath. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. No, he's chosen the white man. The Lord. Thy God has chosen thee. So who is he talking to, huh? The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. What people was a special people unto the most high God? It was the children of Israel. Bring it up. Above all people. Equal with. Above all people. See, we are above all people. We keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the most high God. But the problem is, a lot of y'all ready to go vote for old crooked ass Biden, the baby molesting ass Biden. That's what you're ready to do just because he's a Democrat. But you got to remember one thing, it doesn't matter whether right wing or left wing, it's still the same damn dragon in the middle of them. Bring it out. All praises. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. We are above all people that is up on the face of the earth. And we running around talking about we want equality. Well, I don't want no damn equality. I want to be above all people up on the face of the earth. Bring it out. Right. Right. Um, Give me, um, look here, I want, I want to say this real fast, I used to be a wicked ass pastor, and I used to teach people the wrong way to live, but I got something for that, I got something for that, I'm going to show you what kind of pastor I am now, read this, the book of, Jer the book of Jeremiah, 
chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. See, that's what our people don't want. They don't want the knowledge and understanding. They want to sit out here on the Sabbath day, drink beer. They want to sit out here on the Sabbath day, sell, buy, and then and hate each other. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 31. Bring it out, the huh? prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. And what will you do in the end thereof? See, what are you going to do in the end? Are you going to just keep on sitting out here being just niggas? Or are you going to come back to the Most High, Yahweh, and become his children, his chosen children? Bring it out. Read this, huh? The book of Leviticus. Chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. That's not the right. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. I guarantee you, the ones out here selling detergent next door to the one that's selling clothes, and y'all are supposed to be putting that thing together because without detergent, you can't clean your clothes, but you're hating each other. Teach us. And you're supposed to be loving your brother. Read. Thou shalt in any ways. Rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. That's the reason why we out here because we love our brothers and sisters and we're out here to rebuke you so that you can come back to the most high God. We're not out here as Bishop Jakes talking about get ready, get ready, get ready. What you getting ready for? To give him all your damn money? We don't have no collection plates out here. Read out what you got. It's the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 15. Whoso hated his brother is a murderer. Is a what? Is a murderer. Is a what? Is a murderer. I can't hear y'all. Is a life. Is a murderer. And you know no murderer have no have eternal life abiding in him. That it? No, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, I praise it. A murderer has no eternal life in him. That means that you will not make it to the kingdom. And a lot of us out here, I guarantee over 90% of you out here, you can't stand one of your brothers. You got so much hate in your heart for them, it's ridiculous. And I know some of y'all got hate because when this word come out, you want to go cut up some damn Bobby Blue Bland. What did Bobby Blue Bland do for you? Not a goddamn thing. That's right. <laughs> what you got, huh? Go ahead. The book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 3. And hereby, we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. If we do what? If we keep his commandments. Well, what about his commandments? He that said, I know him, uh -huh. and keep it not, his commandments. We walked up and down this street a while ago, and everybody we talked to, they know God. They know, I know God. I hear from God. Now, this is a female smoking cigarettes with blonde hair and got on jeans, talking about she's one of 144,000. Now, what kind of nonsense is that? Yeah, she going to be part of the two-thirds. That's what she going to be part of. Read. He that said, I know him, uh -huh. and keep it not his commandments. What's going to happen? He's a liar. He's a what? He's, He's a, a liar. liar. Say that again. He's, He's a, a liar. liar. Uh, He's a liar. And the truth is not in him. And the truth is not in your wicked ass. Bring it out, huh? All uh, praises. Okay, read. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 8. He that committed sin is of the devil. Is of who? The devil. What did the Bible say? He that committed sin is of the devil. That means all you wicked niggas is of the devil. Yes, you ain't trying to keep no laws, statutes, and commandments. You're wicked. Uh, this is Tobit chapter 12, verse 10. But they that sin are enemies to their own life. That's it. Now, now that, that tops it off right there. You are you your own worst damn enemy. We used to hear this all the time in the world. We own damn more. Yeah, you are your worst enemy because you are going to destroy your own black asses. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 45. What does it say? Moreover. 
all these curses. All these what? All these curses Read. shall come upon thee. And do what? And shall pursue thee. Uh-huh. And overtake thee. That's what's going to happen to our people. If they don't come back to the most high God, you're going to stay in your damn curses. Read. Till thou be destroyed. Till thou be what? Till thou be destroyed. You are already destroyed and you can't even see it. Break it out, all right. Is that it? No. B. Because thou hearken is not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. It's back to not listening to the voice. Give me that 15 again. To keep to keep his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes when? which he commanded thee. When? And they and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. They will be upon you for a sign and a wonder. Now let me ask y'all a question across the street. Because y'all the ones who want to be stiff necked and hard headed. Let me ask you a question. What did that bird what did that bird sitting out there for? What is he gonna tell me? It's a sign to tell me that y'all selling bird, right? And that's what we are. We are a sign and a wonder. That wonder is we look like a bunch of heathens when we used to be the most beautiful people on the planet. Read. Yeah, 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh, thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all his curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That was the same scripture my brother over here just read, and in a different place. All these curses, because we will not listen. But if we do listen, what will happen to us? Give me that in 28, uh, 28 1. This is what will happen to us if we will listen. The book of Deuteronomy. I got it. I got it. Right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken. If thou shalt what? If thou shalt hearken. If you just listen. Diligently. Until, until the voice of the Lord thy God. What's going to happen? To observe. And to do all his commandments. Now, just some of his commandments. All his commandments. Now, just the ones I want to keep. All his commandments. Three. Which I commanded thee this day. Uh huh. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high. On high above what? Above all nations of the earth. We would be above all nations of the earth. Why? Because he created this earth for us to be rulers over. Not to be down in South Dallas looking for the next day. Uh, give me, give me a, a First Timothy because I know a lot of time people say they always want to go to the Old Testament. Give me the uh, uh, Second Timothy chapter three, verse seventeen. Yes, sir. Sixteen, I think it is. Sixteen. And then this is this is the, this is the funniest thing that I've ever heard. Y'all always hollering about the Old Testament, the Old Testament is done away with, it's done away with. But let's see what the Most High say. We, this is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Wait a minute, what did you just say? All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All scripture is given. That means that that the old, the new, and everything in between is written for our learning. That's what it's for. And then you want to holler. This is what y'all love more than anything. This is what y'all love more than anything. Yes, my name is Bishop Taylor. And uh, ain't no man perfect. I ain't perfect. What the name of uh, Verse 17. That the man of God, but the who? The man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That the man of God may be perfect. So if you're passing around and teaching your wicked ass that you can't be perfect and he ain't perfect, you need to go find a way to get your ass perfect. Right? This is the book of First Kings, chapter eight, verse sixteen. Let your heart therefore be perfect with your holy our God to work in his statutes and to keep his commandments as at this day. See that? We can be perfect. This is according to the scriptures. Give me that in Job 1. Bring it up. It's the only thing. Job chapter 1, verse 1. 
Bring it out, Elva. The Book of Job, chapter 1 and verse 1. Well, ain't no man perfect, read on me. There was a man in the land of us whose name was Job. Well, how what about it? And that man was perfect. He was what? That man was perfect. He can't be in the Bible. That man was perfect. There ain't no man perfect but Jesus. That man was perfect. The Bible said Job was a perfect man. He and one that prayed God and eschewed evil. See, and that's what's wrong with a bunch of you hard heads, stiff neck, rebellious, lack of no respect, black folks. No, but it will not hearken unto the most high. You have no fear for him. We, the book of Psalm, chapter 68 and verse 11. The Lord gave the word. Who? The Lord gave the word. Oh, blast the gate away. The Lord gave the word. Oh, no. The church gave the word. The Lord gave the word. Really? And great was the company of those that published it. It was the great was the company of those that actually published the Most High Word right, right. because they listened to the Most High Yah. Right hey, I got a precept. This is for, uh, this is First Peter chapter two verse twenty one. For here too were you called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that we should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth. See, but a lot of us, we got gal in our mouth, we complain about every damn thing, but yet we want to worry about what we going through and how we going through it. And black lives matter. The hell with black lives matter. And black lives don't matter because it's a Hebrew Israelite's life that matter. That's right. We. The book of Exodus, chapter 31, and verse 18. And he gave unto Moses when he had made a healing for him upon Mount Sinai. Two tables of testimony, tables of stone, written with the finger of God. Written by the finger of God. Written with the finger of God. Written with the finger of God. Written by the fingers of the Most High Yahweh. And then, a lot of y'all want to holler, it's the white man's book. Give me Job 30 and 30, and you give me, uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2. That'll work. And let's listen and see what the Bible says. I don't need no damn microphone. The most out of the Bring it out, The book of Job, 30 verse 30. My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. No, no, no. It's oh, read that again. Uh, the book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. No, Job, sound white. My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. See, this is for all you, you devil worshippers that think, hey, 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 brothers, 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 send that devil over here. Send him on over here. <laughs> I know it. I know it. He, he needs some old old time religion. That's what he needs. Damn me. I'm the old preacher for it. I'm the old preacher he needs. Right over here. Bring it out, huh? Alright, read, read that. Right. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, and verse 2. True the morning. True the right. True the morning. How many of you, how many of them fake ass dudes you see morning? Dude. They own all them banks. They rich. They got everything they need. But they are not mourning. We And they their own language. Our gates is torn down. Our, our so-called leaders, Jesse Jackson, you niggas even accept Charles Barkley for your own leader. What a damn shame. They are black. They are what? They are black. They are black. We're unto the ground. Because if you go back and remember, our people, the ground is dark in all colors. The deeper you go, the dark ain't get three. And the cry of Jerusalem is going up. The what? The cry for Jerusalem is going up. Sorry. We are the children of the one you have. Ye are the chosen of the one you have And he has given his laws to us Now everything belongs to us
Shalom, what's going on? It's your brother, Chief Priest Alazar Monoya, a.k.a. the Gorilla Hebrew. And I'm just letting y'all know, I just dropped my official clothing line, Urban Gorilla. Go to UrbanGorilla.com right now to check us out, man, and pick something up. There's U-R-B-N-G-R-L-A.com. We got all kind of items for men, women, children, even infants, as well as fragrance oil, smell goods. You can also check out Hebrew is a Light Clothing Co., another Sakari business on Instagram and Facebook. And as always, you can hit up DeaconSakari.com to get your plug on the scars, the music, and the children's Bibles. Thanks for your time. All praise to the Most High. Kwam Yasharala. Shalom.